We're in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to create a data retention policy. This is basically a policy your organization has decided upon to determine how long email should be kept or what should happen after a certain amount of time with the email. So if we take a look in our Office Home, we can click on the Admin icon. And once we click on that, we're going to get the Office Admin Center. Let's go ahead and go down to where it says the Admin Centers icon in the lower left and click on Exchange. Once we click on that, we're going to get a retention policies option in the Exchange Admin Center. So what we need to do is on the left-hand side, click on Compliance Management, and then on the right-hand top section, click on Retention Policies. All we need to do now is go ahead and click on the plus sign, and we're going to call this Auto Archive. And now we're going to create a retention tag. So there are some pre-canned retention tags that are already in here. We have automatically delete after a certain amount of time, one month, one week, one year, etc. And then we also have the option to archive. So the last four at the bottom are for archiving. So the default uh, options are 365 days or five years, unlimited, never uh, delete anything, and recover items 14 days, move to archive. So if we choose after one year, we can double click on it, and what will happen is any email that comes in will automatically go to archive. Now you do have to set up the archive, which I've actually shown in a different video. This is just setting up the rule for the archive itself. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now another option would be to automatically delete the email. So let's go ahead and click Save on this, and then we'll create another policy, and we'll say Auto Delete. And we'll click on a retention tag, and this time we're going to say One Year Delete, and click OK. Now we'll click Save. And now let's go ahead and apply that particular delete option to a recipient. So we'll go to Recipients and then go to Mailbox, and let's double click on Jane Doe. And then we'll click on Mailbox Features. Now we'll click on our retention policy and change Jane's from Archive Retention to Auto Delete. And we'll click Save. So now, after one year, Jane's emails automatically is going to be deleted. So why would you want to do this? Well, certain organizations have certain rules about how long they can keep email how, or how long they should be keeping email based on the government rules of, for their area or for the policies of the company itself if it's not governed uh, by any particular rules. So once this is done, then you can apply this to as many users as you would like. Uh, it doesn't have to be applied to all users if you don't want to, but it certainly can. And the auto archive or the auto delete will happen as you need it. So that's how you create a retention policy in Office 365.